I'll continue going until I like rob a bank or like figure out a way to do that where I'm rich for the rest of my life and I don't have to work again, but I also won't end up in jail for robbing a damn bank. We're not gonna do that, that was a joke. Like, oh, you're working two jobs, okay. You know how much y'all pay me? Hi y'all, I'm currently hustling because uh, I work retail today and it's pretty much already time to leave but of course that wouldn't be me if it's not pretty much time to leave and I'm literally still here just chilling you know barely trying to get ready or whatever while I'm here the other day the battery is dying and I forgot to charge it the other day my manager was tweaking because he said oh just appropriately don't wear crocs or whatever and the way it works in my head is that's fine and everything the crocs are very comfortable but i understand them wanting to look very professional what's wild is i've been wearing my crocs since literally 2019 and now is when they've decided that they wanted to look more professional. They never even stated that as the reason why we can't wear it. So I was planning that today when I went, I'd probably like ask the manager who actually typed the paper that is not even in English, what's going on. And then I feel like that's also another thing too. Like you wanna check people and you don't even know how to type the paper in full English for it to even make sense. Like the shit is grammatically incorrect. And it just does not make no sense. You're referencing things that we're already doing, like greeting the customers or whatever. Okay, but we're doing that. We were doing that. We've been doing that. Like, what are you saying? And the only reason why I'm going to bring it up is because literally everybody else who is there is afraid to talk to them as if the managers are like, Lord Jesus, I don't care where I work. Like, going to the manager or like whoever is in charge about an issue that I have is never a problem because they're human as well. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be afraid of them. Why? What is that gonna do for anybody? So, um, pretty much most of the girls, most of the women, wear their crocs because it is more comfortable, especially when you're standing for so long. And so, I'm gonna ask him today, especially for me who I've been wearing it for so long, like, why is this changing to affect me? But like, also, keep in mind that if he mentions, oh, wow, everything just looks a cluttered mess inside here. Keep in mind that if he mentions it's for professionalism or whatever, I'm not going to fight with him because if I'm running a business, when I used to run my business, like I wanted things to look professional and uniformed and like, you know what I mean? So like that part of it, I do get. So like, I'm not going to argue with that part. And like, I absolutely do not have to wear my Crocs even though I used to. So like, it's not really... That's serious for me, it's whatever. But this is something that does affect everybody. And I'm not gonna be the one person who sits there and like not say anything, even though like I'm perfectly fine. If I have to wear sneakers, I own sneakers, but the other day when the manager said it, I'm like, yeah, are you trying to buy me a pair of sneakers? Because the Crocs is all I have. I wear the Crocs to the nursing home. I literally wear the Crocs everywhere. So like, that's all I have. Like, oh, you're working two jobs, okay. You know how much y'all pay me? Don't try me, sir. I'm making sure that I take this little denim with me today because literally every day when I don't bring it with me, it'd be so cold, especially at the register and I'm in there freezing and I literally can't do anything because I don't have anything else. I'm trying to pair of sneakers to wear today, even though I literally feel like I'd want to wear my Dot Martens today because it's raining outside and I cannot be bothered, but like, I'm not even like the Dot Martens are heavy cute not to stand in for eight hours at a register now, so we're not even... But um, I'm pretty much ready. I'm gonna put some mascara on because I like looking a little less of a toenail when I go there. So um, the Doc Martin, the the mascara helps with that. This just looks like a dead something. How it's just sitting on there like that. I need to figure it out. But like these little buns are life, honestly.
and I absolutely did not comb my hair today, so I really hope no rude butt customer does not try me. The last time a lady told me, oh, your hair looks so cute, I love your butt, and my hair looked like crap, and I was offended. Anyways, I'm gonna go. It's nighttime, but I swear to God, whenever I work retail, I always come home feeling like I need to drink the whole damn bottle of wine. It's like, I just be feeling like I'm so exhausted mentally from dealing with people all day. I'm so drained physically. My feet hurt. I'm tired. I just want to do anything else than go back to retail. <laughs> and I still end up back there because a girl likes working for her own money. So that you don't have to ask anybody for anything because what else is the reason why we work? And to make sure that these damn bills is paid because <laughs> If I don't pay them, who's gonna pay them? So those are the two main reasons why, as stressed out as I get, um, going to retail every single week, I'll continue going on to like, like rob a bank or like figure out a way to do that where I'm rich for the rest of my life and I don't have to work again, but I also won't end up in jail for robbing a damn bank. We're not gonna do that, that was a joke, but whatever. <laughs> And you know what's crazy is, I've been feeling so exhausted and like so tired until I clock out. When I clock out from retail, I get a burst of energy and I know, that's how I know that it's like a mental thing. I, the people just be stressing me out. And the managers, the managers mainly, the customers I can handle, but the managers just be getting on my nerve. Anyways, I just... Camera just disrespected me. I just bought a Subway sandwich that I'm absolutely about to tear pieces and even though tomorrow I have to be up at 5 a.m. I think I'm also gonna drink some wine because why not I deserve a glass or two of wine maybe a glass just a glass because it's already after 8 o'clock so yeah just one glass two would be Odin but um I'm gonna do that I'm gonna eat drink the wine and call it a day yeah, sounds like a plan. So I ate my little Subway sandwich. I didn't even drink the glass of wine because I was kind of emotional about something that I was going through and I just felt like when I'm that emotional, I don't necessarily like drinking because I like when I'm in control and I feel like I don't want to get carried away to the point where I'm just drinking my sorrows away. That's not the point that I want to get to. I enjoy drinking just for the thrill of it all. I never want drinking a glass of wine to become like a... um. What do you call like an addiction like a maybe not an addiction but you know i don't want it to be a thing that i do when i'm like um, going through some shit no i want to naturally enjoy it an evening after work or like a you know what i mean like anything other than that is 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 <laughs> doing the most with this drinking thing here and that is absolutely not it however um i think this is where i'm gonna wrap up today's video thank you guys so so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy these little day in my life day in retail day bouncing around a place day living in new york vlogs and i will see you guys in the next one as usual